Hello! Welcome to episode 2 of How to Make a High Nice Ready Scan Game in GDO. In this episode, we're doing doors. So, first I'm gonna turn on the grid. You see this grid here? Click that. Show grid. You can set up grid, so you can change line color, alpha, you can set uh, offset. You can even make it isometric if you are making an uh, isometric game. If you want, of course. So to make doors, first you gotta add your object sprite. Now call it left door. I've already rendered my door animation, so I'm gonna do that. So add an animation, and like last episode, we're gonna add an animation. But this time, before you do that. Animations here, optional animation name, but I like to give them names. You'll see why later on in this video. So, I'm gonna call it Door Close. Now I'm gonna choose my closing animation. Now that I have, that I have my closing animation loaded, I'm gonna go to preview because here I can change the FPS I'm thinking 20 will be good what about 3 25 yeah 25 is good okay add animation now I'm gonna do door open add now you may think that oh well this is the same animation well we're gonna reverse it by doing that just drag it to the other side mine is luckily 10 frames so it won't take that long Now I have reversed my animation, so now it opens. I can show you here. So now I click apply. I go to office events. On add a new event, I right click. Event group, and call that. Scrolling. Gonna drag these under it. Now, drag it a little to the right, and you can see this happens. Make close and open the event group. You can even add comments. This turns the player's head around. Now you know what it does. Now add a new event. Now I'm going to do add condition. At the beginning of the scene, add action, left door, pause at the animation. Oh, I forgot to add my left door. Add condition. So now, I want it to be like ultimate custom night where when I click A, it's gonna open and close. So input, keyboard, key pressed, not any key, key pressed, A, OK, advanced, events and control flow, 
trigger once while true. This triggers this event once. So when you so when you hold down A, it won't play the animation forever, but only one time. Oh, by the way, add actions. Add not add actions. Add action. Left door. Then do play the animation. Add action. Left door. Now this is why you had to name your animation. Change the animation by name. Now I'm going to do door close. I'm gonna preview this to show you. So now I'm gonna press A. It closes, but it doesn't open again. Which is a problem because I want it to open. So a condition, the left door. Current animation name, door close. Animation finish. A key press, is press, right click, copy, and paste. Right click, copy, and paste. Right click, right click, copy, and paste. And now, click this, and back, back, space, and backspace, backspace, and change it, change it to door open. So now, when I press A, it closes and it opens. I'm not gonna copy and paste this because if you can look closely, you can see it has a reflection. It reflects that. So I had to render two separate doors. But it's really easy to do that for the second door, even if it's a different animation, it's the exact same. But if you noticed, when I started doing this, you could actually see a bit of a door here. So what I'm gonna do is, at the beginning of the scene, add action, left door, hide. And that action, left door, show. I'm gonna move that up here. So now, when I preview this, you can see that don't see it. As you can see, it opens and closes. Now I'm gonna do the exact same for the right door. And now, if we preview this, if I look at my right door, it closes and it opens. I can even have them both closed at the same time, just like in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So, right door, close, and left door, close. As you can see, they're both closed at the same time. And now you can start seeing the reflections I put on my doors. See, it, it reflects that, and this, you can see the computer screens on here. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to make a similar uh, office for Five Nights at Freddy's for your FNAF fan game. Say that in the comments, and I'll do it. I promise.
Well, that's it for the store. No, that's not it actually. Um, add a new event, right click, event group, <laughs> enter group name, doors. Oops. Right, right click, comment. This opens and closes doors. Okay, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time. Goodbye.